Hi there, I am Giuseppe Corcella from Virtual Orchestration and today I'm going to review the Symphonic Vertigo Bundle by Cinematic Instruments. First of all, I want to thank Cinematic Instruments for kindly sending us a copy of the bundle to review. Symphonic Vertigo Bundle includes five libraries Vertigo Viola, Vertigo Cello, Vertigo Flute, Vertigo Violin and Vertigo Strings and you can buy all of them separately. These libraries start from organic sounds, but thanks to a powerful engine you can turn them into something completely different that go more into the sound designing and experimental world, yet keeping a kind of organic character. It sells for 315.35 euros, VAT included. Viola's size is 650 megabytes compressed and runs in the full version of contact 5.8 or above. Cello weighs 1000 megabytes compressed. Flute's size is 700 megabytes compressed. Violin 520 megabytes compressed and strings about 300 megabytes compressed. Cello, flute, violin and strings run in the full version of contact 5.6.8 or above. For Vertigo Strings is also available a version for the free Helion Sonic. Vertigo Viola comes with just one NKI instrument. You can choose a preset to start with or directly start building your own. A cool feature that you'll find all over this series is the Dice tool, which basically lets you randomize all the parameters. And this is truly great in experimental libraries like this. It can let you explore a lot of new sounding possibilities. At the center of the interface, you've got the articulation groups available, which can contain more other articulations. Each volume control corresponds to a different articulation and you can easily mix all of them together by raising or lowering their volumes. The articulation uh, where you see the MD writing is the spiccato and if you click on that, you can set the spiccato speed. You have also the sound of a frozen viola and the synthesized source here. At the bottom of the interface, you have attack, length, tone control, chorus, tape, echo, and finally, the reverb, where you can choose between nine kinds of reverbs. This fader controls the overall volume, and if MW is enabled, you can control the volume via mod wheel. If you click on the plus button, a new window appears where you can set the pen, the interval of each articulation and solo them. If you click on the info tab, you'll get a quick overview of what the parameters on the GUI are meant for. Let's now play a bit around with this library and hear how it sounds.
Vertigo Cello comes with two patches. The first one is the core of the library. It looks slightly different from the viola, but actually it works in the same way. You've got here the articulation groups with some articulations, each regular, special motions, leap, which is basically the spiccato, and you can change the speed from here, recinth and bow. You can solo and uh, pan them, set the volume for each articulation and also the transpositions uh, just in the same window. You've got uh, the info tab here and some parameters. You can control the attack, decay, tone, rotary, tape, uh, reverb and volume. You can choose between seven reverbs uh, and assign the volume control to the mode wheel. In the portamento patch, the blue keys are assigned to regular sustain notes, yellow for fifth portamentos down, and orange for fifth portamentos up. You can use the mode wheel to merge up to four cellos while you are playing. You have just two controls here, reverb, and tone. Let's hear how Vertigo Cello sounds.
Vertigo flute shows a similar GUI to Vertigo cello. Of course, some articulations and groups are different. You have here a blow resampled taped avant garde, but the parameters are the same. You can choose a preset and randomize. Here you have the main volume and uh, here you can control attack, decay, tone, vintage fan, tape, uh, reverb. You have uh, seven reverbs here. Of course, as per usual, I also suggest to check out the official walkthroughs on the Cinematic Instruments YouTube channel to get a more complete overview of these libraries.
The violin comes with two NKI instruments as the cello. The GUI of the main one is similar to the previous two. Down here you can control attack, decay, tone, rotary, all the tape, reverb and volume. The portamento patch is just similar to the cello portamento. You can use the mod wheel to morph through one, four or eight voices.
vertical strings uh, shares the interface with the previous ones. You have here a violin, viola, cello, bass, both ensemble and effects as groups and each one includes some articulations. Here you can control uh, attack, uh, decay, tone, uh, fog, uh, retro, reverb and volume.
Ok, I find this bundle a great tool for thriller, horror, suspenseful, chaotic cues. It gives a lot of options in terms of sounding possibilities and even if uh, it starts from organic sounds, it really brings you deep into the sound design in the world. It's great to create textures uh, to build up tension and suspense, but also you can use it on the more organic uh, kind of sound, yet mixing together a lot of uh, different articulations. So you can have here some options uh, you wouldn't have uh, in the real world. The dice function is very useful as it gives the composer unexpected ways to build their sound and then you can fully customize it by adjusting the pen, volume and all the parameters available. I also like that you can change the tuning of each articulation to create something very dissonant. It's all for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support virtual orchestration, subscribe to the channel, join our newsletter if you wish, hit the like button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified as soon as we release a new tutorial or a new review. If you are new to the world of the virtual orchestration and you wish to learn more about it or even if you're a pro semi pro looking to improve your skills, so we offer private online lessons about virtual orchestration, mock-up programming and how to use Dorico, Sibelius, Cubase and Logic Pro. Get in touch at info at virtualorchestration.it. I wish you a wonderful day and see you on the next review.